best way to look at it is what's been Dubai's success? Dubai's success is A, been um, the strengths, right? The, um, A, the, the multiculturalism, um, the fact that there is such an amazing, uh, and, I, and I mean it in, 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 uh, in every sense of the word, there's such an amazing partnership between the private and public sector. And the advantage that we have is in many cases, as a government department, we are driving the private sector forward as opposed to the other way around, where, uh, which would be the case uh, globally. And I think that spirit, that, 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 that hunger to make sure that we are pushing towards becoming that number one destination is what drives Dubai. Um, and with that, you will see that everything leads um, from there. So you look at the infrastructure that Dubai has, right? Um, we always were built on trade and trading is the one that opened up uh, Dubai to other markets. We grew that and today we, have, we are one of the largest port operators in the world. Um, and also from the same perspective, we look at Dubai's airport. Dubai airport uh, grew uh, in its size and, and the way that it serviced the world, not just Dubai, um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a huge way. So uh, in 2019, and it was a couple of years uh, since uh, 2019, uh, sorry, uh, before that, that Dubai had surpassed Heathrow and became the busiest international airport in the world with more than 90 million or close to 90 million passengers traveling through its doors on a yearly basis. So that shows you the value that, that uh, the airport and the platform actually brings to the table, right? So those two things play a key role, one from a business and logistics side of things and the other one um, from a connectivity and bringing people into, into Dubai. With that, what we also did was we introduced a lot of easing of policies, regulations, visa policies being one of them. Because again, if there's a regional or a global headquarter that's based in Dubai, it's because they know that it's much easier for them to bring in other um, uh, team members from around the world into Dubai because of ease of access, right? So all of these things lend themselves perfectly to create an infrastructure which you can then thrive off of. So, so these are just simple building blocks that we can put into place to really start uh, then attracting more people. And then for us, what plays a big role is the VFR aspect, which we didn't even mention, visiting friends and relatives, because every single one of these people of the 80%, which are made up of 200 nationalities, becomes an advocate, an ambassador for the city, truly explaining why Dubai is the best place to visit and not just visit, but why they chose Dubai uh, as a city to live in. And why today everyone's starting to recognize that this is where they want to be.